What's up YouTube, I'm Mr. No Name, or Max as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a competitive class setup video, and today's is going to be S&D. Uh, this is an updated version, I know I've had several in the past, but it's been a couple of months I believe, so some of you have been wanting some updated ones, so here you go. So, um, first thing you'll notice here is that my AR classes, I'm no longer using grip on them unless it's a thermal class, I've switched it out for muzzle break, just because I feel like I can handle the recoil better now and I want that extra damage. So my first class here is my AR slaying class. Of course I got the Remington R5 with the Space Kitty camo and the red dot, or actually a blue dot in this case, muzzle brake. Then for perks I got agility, quick draw, dead silence, focus, and blast shield. And then for the strike packages, when I talk about them I'm just going to say the first two and then you guys can just look at my bonus because the bonus is definitely personal preference. Um, I've got tack resist and then ICU. So this class is really good for getting where I needed to go quickly and being able to stay alive. Um, it's just for slaying out. This is one where, you know, I don't have any nades or stuns or smokes or trophy systems, so I'm not as much help to my team in that sense. So this class is all about staying alive and just getting those extra kills. Alright, next one is, again, Remington R5 with the same attachments. This time I've got double nades and a trophy system, and then I got the quick draw, dead silence, focus, and then the double nade perk, and then for my strike package I got agility, and then ready up, and then I got you know my bonus. So um, the reason the, what this class is for this class is for um, being able to push up some with the bomb carrier and be a little bit more of a support type player, but with an AR. Um, it's also you know good just for when I'm getting to a position where I want to stay there for a little while you know I can just set a trophy system down throw a few nades around you know it's just a it's just a good all-around class I use this class mainly on um, Warhawk and Sovereign just because you know I find trophy systems and double nades very good on those particular maps so yeah Next one is my AR Thermal class, um, this time I've got a Thermal and a Grip on the Remington, and then i got a Smoke for my Tactical, although this can change to a Stun or Trophy System depending on the map. Um, for Octane it's always going to be a Smoke for me, um, other maps it changes some, it's a personal preference thing, so i got Quick Draw, Dead Silence, Incog, and Focus. So um, Incog goes very very well with the Smoke and the Thermal, it just balances it out, it's very good for picking people off of places such as Top Pond, Restaurant or the white truck head glitch on Octane, so that, that's what this class is mainly used for. And uh, yeah, and then for the bonus I got the Blast Shield and the Attack Resist. Next class is my AR Wallbang class. Um, I've got the blue dot with the bullet penetration, double nades and a stun, So I got, and then I got Quick Draw, Dead Silence, Focus, and the double nade perk. And then for my Strike Package I've got Blast Shield and Attack Resist, which is pretty standard on most of my classes. Um, this class is mainly for the map Freight. Uh, it can be used on others, but that's what I use it for the most because there's just so many thin walls on there that I'd like to have a little extra damage on. The double nades are nice to be able to throw one into Red or Porter or Owens or somewhere. And then the stun is good for stun check, so that's what this class is mainly used for. Um, it's You can also use it to pre-fire through walls and common spots in Red and such. So keep that in mind. Next class is my AR resist class. This is one for when the other team is throwing so many nades and stuns and everything that and we just don't have enough trophy systems or we can't get them down in time. This way I can just keep on moving and I can stay alive get those easy picks because you know I mean I've got the the quick draw dead silence focus tack resist and blast shield already on this class so I mean you know the stuns do absolutely nothing the nades don't do too much either um, so it's a high damage class, and it's very, very hard to get me pinned down with stuns or nades. Um, and then I've got agility and ICU for my specialist, simply because I already have blast shield and tack resist from the get-go. So, um, of course, the reason for agility first here is just because I like that extra movement speed. Um, ICU could be put first if you want that, but for me it's just agility. Next class is my MTAR class. Um, Actually, both of my submachine gun classes are for, with an MTAR, although I, I just call this one MTAR just because it's the go-to MTAR class. Of course, I've got muzzle brake and grip on it, and then i got double nades and a stun. Um, I've got the ready up, steady aim, dead silence, focus, double nades, and then i got blast shield and tack resist for the strike package. Um, this class is um, one that is good for 
pushing up a little bit slower as a sub submachine gun player. It's, you know, once again, the double nades. I play it a little more passively, try and get nades on people that are in um, camping spots, things like that. So it's a little bit more passive, but it's still a pretty good submachine gun class. Next one is my rushing class, and it's the MTAR with the same attachments. And then I got ready up, agility, marathon, steady aim, dead silence, focus. And then for my strike package, I got blast shield and attack resist. This is a class that I use a lot when I want to push very, very quickly or I want to get on the flank. So on Sovereign, you know, if you want to go underground, this is the class that I use. Um, if I want to run across to A very, very quickly on Octane, this is the one I'll probably use. Things like that. Um, I actually like the feel of the MTAR better with Agility and Marathon on. You just feel like an absolute monster. You can just like run around corners and it, it's just crazy. It's a really awesome class. It's just no nades or stuns. So, you know, you're not quite as much help to your team. You've got to be slaying with this class. Next one is my special one class. You don't see me pull this out a lot simply because other people on my team usually have it. It's the Bulldog class. I got Muzzle Break, Extended Mags, and then Ready Up, Slide of Hand, Agility, Marathon, Focus, and Dead Silence. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't say Focus. If I did, I apologize. It's not actually supposed to be there because it's, it's not here on my screen. I just don't know if I said it or not, but um, you don't need focus with the bulldog simply because your plan here is hip fire. You don't want to be aiming in as much. You just want to be able to go around a corner and hip fire. That's the whole purpose of this class: be able to reload quickly. Um, very good close quarters class. And then for the strike package, I got blast shield and attack resist. Next one is my special two. Um, this one now goes between an LMG or a sniper depending on how I feel. It's almost always the LMG though because I'm a terrible sniper, but feel free to use a sniper here instead. Um, I've got the M27 with a thermal and a grip, and then I've got agility, quick draw, dead silence, focus, and blast shield. Um, you need some kind of speed perk on this class simply because LMGs are so slow I prefer to put agility on it. Quick draw obviously because LMGs have terrible um, aiming down sight speed. And then the blast shield there is because I can't move as fast, I can't escape nades as well, so I need to be able to survive them. And then for my strike package, I got ready up and then incog, which is a little bit interesting, but the idea behind this is the ready up will help me be able to aim even quicker, and then the incog will come along later on, and it will help me be able to challenge snipers or things like that. And then my last class is my experiment class uh, this one changes a lot right now I'm using the AK-12 with a muzzle brake and grip and then for perks I got agility quick draw dead silence focus and blast shield and then for the strike package I got tack resist and ICU um, this class was actually introduced to me by Marty Merckx that's his YouTube channel name I'll link it below um, I was playing with him and he he pointed out to me that the AK-12 was a really good gun he uses it a lot and he mentioned that somebody, I believe Drifter, if I remember correctly, has done the numbers on this. And the AK-12 is actually supposed to be a better weapon than the Remington. Um, I'm still experimenting with this class. I'm not as comfortable with this weapon as the Remington, although I'll keep working with it and I'll let you guys know what I think. But, you, you know, this is a class you could experiment with, see if you like it. So... Yeah, those are my classes for s &D, so I hope you guys enjoyed. So, as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.